What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Right now is one of the best times to get out and find some good numbers of sheep's head. So I wanted to put a video together talking about the top three places to find sheep's head, which is bridges, rocks, and docks. Now there's two things that all of these places are going to have in common. One, they're going to be heavy structures where sheep's head can find shelter from their predators. And two, that's also going to be a place where you will have barnacles and oysters and other crustaceans growing on these structures, which is always a great thing to look for when searching for sheep's head. So let's start off by talking about rocks. Rocks are a great place to look for sheep's head and they can come in many different forms, whether they are coming down off of a shoreline or if you're fishing jetty rocks where you'll have water on both sides of the rocks. It's a great place to look for sheep's head but the sheep's head are going to hold very close to those structures. So it's going to be very important that you get your bait all the way down close to those rocks in order to get your bait in the strike zone of those sheep's head. It can be difficult to determine the best place on the rocks to start fishing for your sheep's head. So what I normally do is I'll start in the deeper water down where the rocks may end and I'll fish there and I will slowly work my way up the rocks into shallower water until I figure out what depths my sheep's head are holding in at that time. Another good tactic is to look for areas on the rocks that are lower than the surrounding rocks where waves or water may be flowing through those lower areas. I have found that the lower areas of the rocks can be very productive because from those waves or water flowing through those lower areas can knock crabs and crustaceans off of the rocks and that's exactly what your sheep's head are going to be looking for. Now let's talk a little bit about docks. Docks can be a great place to look for sheep's head, but what I like to look for are the older docks that are gonna have way more crustaceans growing on them than the newer docks. And I have also found that concrete docks can be a great place to look for sheep's head because they are gonna grow way more crustaceans and I just tend to do so much better on concrete docks than I do wooden docks. So if I see a concrete dock, odds are I'm gonna try that one first. Also keep in mind that docks are not always residential docks. Commercial docks can be a great place to look for sheep's head as well because they have so many pylons underneath them it just makes a perfect home for a sheep's head. Another thing to consider when dock fishing is to look for docks that have cross beams. Anytime you see a cross beam on a dock where it's above the surface a lot of the times the cross beams will also be underneath the surface and that is a great place to get hung up or lose your sheep's head. Now let's go ahead and move on to bridges, but just keep in mind that all the tips that I give you for bridges can also work for docks as well. Bridges are an awesome place to look for sheep's head, but sometimes they can be very long and they can cover a wide range of depths and it can be difficult to determine the best place to start looking for your sheep's head. One of the best things that you can do is check your depths. Just like we talked about on the rocks, you're gonna start in deeper water or start in shallower water, and you're going to change depths until you figure out where those sheep's head are holding at that time. Another really helpful thing to do to find out where your sheep's head are holding at is to look for areas on the pylons where someone has already scraped the barnacles or oysters off of that pylon and that's going to be a good sign that there are sheep's head in the area. Now anytime you're fishing bridges or docks and there's a good amount of current flow, you always want to fish the back side of that pylon opposite of where the current is hitting that pylon. So if this is your pylon and the current is flowing this way, then you want to drop on this side of the pylon because you're not going to have any current right there on the back side of that pylon. The sheep's head are also going to sit on the back sides of these pylons and they're gonna be sitting there because they don't have to swim as hard and work as hard uh, as they would if they were in the current, but also this brings meals to the sheep's head from any crabs or crustaceans that are flowing by in the current. Other times when you don't have a lot of current, the sheep's head will swim freely around those pylons and there is no specific side of the pylons that you should fish. So you can bounce around from side to side of the pylon, just being sure to keep your bait within 12 inches of that pylon. Keep in mind that not all bridge pylons go straight down into the water. Sometimes bridge pylons will come at an angle down into the water and you don't wanna drop on that pylon where it's exposed above the water. You actually wanna drop out front of that 
pylon so that once your bait reaches the bottom, you're actually behind the pylon. Now, split shot rigs, dropper rigs, and sheep's head jigs all can be great rigs to use for sheep's head. Now, unfortunately, right now, I don't have any sheep's head jigs, but I'll throw a photo on the screen of bottom sweeper jigs, which is a really good and popular brand to use for sheep's head. Now, I would recommend to use your split shot rigs or your lighter sheep's head jigs in areas where you have slow to moderate currents. And then in your faster current areas, I would use the dropper rig or your heavier sheep's head jigs. We actually already have videos in the Salt Strong Insider Club on the split shot rig, on the dropper rig, and on bottom sweeper jigs. So if you'd like to check those out, come check out the Salt Strong Insider Club. If you're new to the Salt Strong Insider Club, just know that we are the only online fishing club that guarantees that you'll catch more fish while saving money on everything that you need to do so. If you want to learn more, visit saltstrong.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon.